Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It slipped. You sure? Yeah. Go back to the house. Okay. Uh, everything's okay, everybody. Enjoy the party. <laughs> I'll tell Vera, okay, to come clean it up. She slipped. I want to go upstairs. I'll see you there in a few minutes, okay? gets more beautiful every time I see her. Oh, my God. I have to agree. You look great, honey. Thank you. The house looks fantastic. Yeah, it does. I saw your parents when I walked in. They seem well. Yeah, God. Where's Tim? Oh, he is in the kitchen. Hey, hey you. <laughs> Kilo, do you know Pam? And of course. This is her Hi. husband, Jared. Yeah, yeah. Hi. How are I'm sorry, you? I have to go to the ladies' room, you guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking body, Lily. How'd you get in here? Uh, uh, Lily, before you know, we were talking about trying new things. You know. What? This is this is the new thing. <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry. I thought Tim told you when it was okay with you. <laughs> Baby, you're not mad, are you? place. Don't even try to deny it. They get away with shit like that all the time. That was an idea. I told you a million times to end it with him. I oh, know, you're right. It's just that I think about him all the time. I wonder what he's doing. I wonder if he's had a good day or a bad day. I wonder if he's thinking about me at all. He's like a drug. I can't help it. Tim is your loser, love, Lily. It's that one guy who you just end up loving a little bit too long. You keep hoping and praying and trying, and you think that this one last time things are going to be different, but they never are. You know why? Why? Because they're fucking losers. Yeah, well, whatever. You haven't heard from him, have you? Well, sort of. Lily, I can't believe you'd even think of talking to that prick after what he did to you. I haven't spoken to him. Then what? Oh, he called a few times last night. 
And I haven't called him back, but he just sounded so sad and drunk. No, he actually sounded sincere. Oh, God, don't tell me you're falling for this bullshit. I didn't say I was going to call him. Well, I hope to hell not. Tim is probably so out of his mind right now, he'd do anything to get back together with you. Ah, Lily's home. I'll call you back. Hi, right, sweetheart. Hi, Mom. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So glad you came. But you never come home this time of year. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's okay. You sure? What's this? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's nothing. It's just a little something to keep me trim and young. I can use all the help I can get. Mom, you already look gorgeous. You're so sweet. Do you want me to put your bags in the room? Yes, Vera, please. Thanks very much. Thanks, Vera. You're welcome. Guess what? I got a treat for us. I've made an appointment for the works. We are going to have manicures, pedicures, facials, massages, salt clothes. And then, of course, we'll go shopping. Actually, I, I just want to stay home and relax. Yeah, well, shopping's very relaxing. And by the looks of your hair, I think we can use some coloring for it, Bridget. Mom. Yes. Stop. You're not listening. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Lil wants to chill. You can chill. Chill. Where's Dad? Your father's in the den, talking to my father's ashes. Money to buy decent clothes. Shit is what you're going to attract. You know, if you represent yourself like this, I don't want people knowing you're part of this family. Your grandfather, he'd be so disappointed. He'd kill me if he could see you like this. No, he wouldn't. He just want me to be happy. Sydney, she's she good. Was I talking to you? Did your father tell you about the award that he's receiving? No. What award are you receiving, Daddy? Annie? Well, it's so exciting. Um, the Lakeshore Country Club, that's our country club, the one your father gave the pro shop to recently, has deemed him man of the year. We're going to have a big party, and we'd like you to be there. And uh, you and I could go shopping get something really nice. And you could bring Tim if you wanted. He's a worthless piece of shit. <laughs> Why, you're afraid Tim's gonna marry into the family and take over like you did? <laughs> Grandpa built the business that you're getting credit for. Lily, it doesn't matter. I took over the company on my own merits. Your grandfather was the only person that believed in my capabilities. The company is today because of what I did with it. And you have the nerve to talk to me like that in my own house? You come here to, to disrespect me? I don't want to see you no more. Annie, show her. I don't want to see her anymore. Now! Hey. Where did you go wrong with her? Yeah. Where did I go wrong? Let's say life is like Wheel of Fortune. Today, we have two contestants, John and Tim. John is a lawyer from Beverly Hills. His interests include jogging, cycling, and in general, he just wants to make the world a better place. Our other contestant is Tim. 
Now, contrary to John, who likes to make love passionately to classical music, Tim enjoys fucking to Barry White and then passing out. Tim is currently unemployed. His interests include drugs, lying, and mental abuse. In his spare time, he enjoys humiliating his girlfriend, both mentally as well as physically. Now, if Tim wins today's puzzle, he will receive a free trip to Palm Springs and will sponge endlessly off of Lily. Okay, let's begin, shall we? Can Tim solve the puzzle? What do you think, folks? Oh, he says he can. Okay, let's ask him, Tim, what do you say? Lily is a moron. Yes, that's right! Congratulations! Tim wins! What a winner! That's right! Yay for Tim! Jesus! Lily, I don't... I don't get you. When is enough gonna be enough? What exactly does he have to do before you stop taking his shit? I'm out of here. I got plans, man. Can I help you? It's me. Are you still angry? No, forget about it. What are you doing? I am just finishing things up around here. I was thinking that we could go out and get lunch or something. Well, I don't know. Things are really crazy right now. It's fashion week. Oh, come on, it's just lunch. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. Great. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Hey, mister. I don't recall you asking me if you could take some of my beer. Yeah, get your own, buddy. What? Yeah, you heard him. Lay off, buddy. I was only kidding. I know, so was I. Here, uh, <clears throat> keep a change. Thanks. What are you doing? I'm leaving. Tell me that bit of information? Nope. What's the matter? You fucking embarrassed me. God, what are you talking about? I was just joking around. I wasn't even being serious. Yeah, well, you were rude. I, what? God, what is the big deal? What's the big deal? You fucking disrespected me. Don't disrespect me like that. You talked out of me in front of other people. Tim. You know what, Lil? You're a fucking hypocrite. On one hand, you say you want to get close to me, and then you go and act like this? This is fucking bullshit. I'm out of here. I'm sorry. Don't go. Please. You coming? I don't want to discuss him. We've had a great day. Let's not ruin it with talks about me. That moron has to be my boyfriend again. Exactly. That's exactly what I don't get. I just want you to be happy for me. Lily, I want you to be happy. I just don't like seeing you in pain. I'm not in pain. This time is really different. I hope so, but I doubt it. I mean, things are going really well between the two of us now. Tim is a loser, okay? <laughs> I feel like a broken record. I mean, what is it going to take for you to finally rid yourself of him for good, huh? A successful suicide? Shh. Lily, I'm sorry. I'm Are sorry. you jealous? What? I mean, Tim suggested that, that you might be jealous. Lily! All the negativity. <sighs> Are you out of your mind? Okay. 
I wouldn't be your best friend if I didn't tell you exactly how I felt. I'm always gonna tell you the truth, no matter what, okay? I just want you to be happy for me. I need you to be happy for me. I don't wanna lose you. You're not gonna lose me, stupid. Yeah, I'm your friend till the end. Through richer, through poor, till death do us part. Come on, I'll even pick up the chip. I'm not gonna let you. Mmm. <laughs> that was good. Lunch is on me. No. Don't be silly, we'll split it. No. Oh my god. I didn't know. What are you doing here? I was just in the neighborhood. What are you doing? I told you. I was having lunch with Kilo. Oh, I guess I forgot. Kilo, how's your lunch? Good. I have to go to the ladies' room. I trust that you two will behave. No problem, sweetheart. Oh. Hey, I'm all out of bullets. <laughs> Oh, yeah, actually, Kilo and I were just discussing how the three of us should get together sometime. That's great. My parents are having a party, and I want both <laughs> of you to come. Perfect. Oh, what a beautiful bag. Oh, you guys. These are beautiful. I knew you'd love them. Thank you. They're the same ones that we have at our house. The ones you're admiring? Yeah, I love these. They're so pretty. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> okay, you. Open it, open it, open it. <laughs> Should I just rip it? Yeah. It's a guide from ancient times. You can put them in there. Oh, I love it. Do you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You can use them. They'll help you. Okay. Moment you've been waiting for. Here you go. circled some help wanted ads in the paper for you. And some of them look pretty interesting.
Jen, Jen, ow. It hurts. Please. Stop. Oh, that hurts. Jen, stop. You're hurting me. Please. You know what? I'm really starting to appreciate your friend Kilo. Pam's right. She really is funny. We should try and get together more often. Don't you think? Honey? You're not going silent on me, are you? Fine, be that way. You know, I got a fucking headache. I'm gonna crash at my place, all right? See you later. Baby, are you there? Lily, open up. I won't tell anybody, just go away. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. What? I'm so sorry, sweet. I'm so sorry. Okay, you know what? It's not too late. We'll go to the police, okay? No, I, I just want to forget. I'm Lily, afraid. you can't let him get away with it, okay? You can't. I don't know what to say. Well, just call, okay? I'll be here right with you, all right? 
No. <laughs> my father, oh my God, he would just say that I deserved it. All right, I know you have your problems with your dad, but I think under the circumstances, he'd be more than understanding. You really don't know my father. Oh, come on, I'll give him a chance. I mean, who knows, with his temper, he may even kill a scumbag himself. Come on, no. I don't want to go to the police. You didn't go to the police. I know, and I should have. No, no, no. Okay. How do you feel? Better. Okay, listen. We won't go to the police, but the motherfucker's gonna pay. What do you mean? It's time. I lost this time, really. I fucking, I'm so sorry. I feel so terrible. No, I... I'm sorry. I was slightly confused for a short period of time, but uh, <laughs> you can never really lose me, Tim, because in reality, there's no death in love. You know how glad I am to hear that. <sighs> you know, I had a dream about you the other night. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Was that good little girl? You were so good, you were bad. Mm -hmm. I would dream about you, too. Yeah? You and Kilo were in my dream. Really? Yeah, we were in my parents' jacuzzi. It was strange. You guys were getting along so well. Just being really nice to you. You were being really nice to her. We're getting drunk, laughing. <laughs> and? And then I woke up. That's it? I guess unconsciously I knew the two of you to get along. I mean, she's my best friend. Well, well, you have nothing to worry about with that. I know how much she means to you. I want to do anything in my power to make it better. Still gonna come to my dad's party? Are you kidding me? I miss it for anything in the world. What's that? Oh, I almost forgot. This is for you. But do not open it until you get home, okay? I miss you so much. I need to be a part of your life, Lily Delacroix. Every time you let me back in, I seem to somehow screw things up and hurt you. We spent a lot of time together, both good and bad. From this day forward, I'll always be here for you always. Too little, too late, motherfucker. Tim, hey, it's me. Look, uh, I have to be at the party early. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Uh, I'll meet you out there, okay? All right, I love you, Pookie Bear. Look forward to seeing you. Your hands are shaking, no, they're not. Wow. You look gorgeous. Tim. Thank you. Kilo? Tim? Always a pleasure. Doesn't she look beautiful? Of course. <laughs> Looks like I need a refill. Me too. <laughs> Do you mind? 
course not. Excuse me. Ready? I'm ready. Lily, are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes. I do. Congratulations. You really deserve it. I saw your wife and your daughter over there. You look good. You've done good for yourself. <laughs> well, Extra good, I would say. Oh, of course, you know. Jared, I'm gonna kill that annoying fuck. Ah, oh, man. What's up, baby? I'm surprised for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? Look, I told you it wouldn't be a surprise now, would it? All I can say. There's a bottle of champagne in the gazebo with three glasses. Wait, me ten minutes. Fellas, I'll see you in a minute, okay? It's gotta be important. It is. I just wanna dance with my main man. Your main man, eh? Huh? Absolutely. Still? Eyes in forever. You know, you really look great tonight. Thanks, Dad. 
I would like things to be better between the two of us. I love you, Daddy. There's something I have to show you. It's just gonna take a minute. It's better be important and not another dumb attempt at attention. Lily, what the hell's going on? These are Granddad's ashes. What the hell are you talking about? Tim, he went insane. He 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 called you a crazy guinea wop and he took the ashes and he put them in the toilet. He put a bottle of champagne in the urn and he went out to the gazebo. He expects me to meet him out there. Daddy, you were right. You were right about him all along, and I didn't listen to you. I'm so sorry, Daddy. Put down the phone, Mom. What? Put down the phone. It's over. It's over? dad with the shovel in his hand beating Tim to death. Of course I was scared. I was petrified. 
but in a way I was proud. I know that's a horrible thing to say because he's in jail for me now. I mean, mental institution. Even if he turned wacko and accused me of killing Tim, I'd forgive him because I'm finally proud of him. I mean, killing a man is not the right thing to do, but he did it because he loved me. He did it to protect me. And I love him for that. As for me, I'm doing great. <laughs> so is my mom, you should see her. <laughs> she even wears jeans now. She looks fantastic. <laughs> I don't talk to Kilo anymore. I don't know, the whole thing just sort of freaked her out. It's too bad. I've been on a few dates. <laughs> I guess everything kind of turned out okay. And Tim's finally gone and and I feel free now. I guess that's the most important thing. That I feel free. To tell you the truth, I really think I am gonna miss the guy.